Oh boy. What a night to be driving. And it's Halloween too. Oh, it's creepy. Oh man. What I wouldn't give to be back at home snug and warm. Wait. What's that up ahead? Ah, yes. Gas station. Uh, pardon me. Is this the way to Elm Hall Plantation? Yes. Yes, it is. But no one's there. I'd advise you to turn back. It's not safe in this weather. Thanks. How do I get myself into these situations like this anyway? Who would have thought, a week ago, I'd be here driving on a lonely dark road, looking for an old mansion? Well, what can you do? Last week I received that letter informing me that I had inherited an antebellum mansion, just 20 minutes outside of Natchez, Mississippi. It was left to me by my great-grandmother, who lived there all of her 90 years. Boy, that's a long time. Let's see, the mansion was built, I think, in 1820, and according to the stories I've heard, it has a very mysterious and tragic history. I believe one of my ancestors, as a small child, fell to his death from a high window in the old place. It was very mysterious, as the story goes. As I recall, the window from which he fell was never closed following the incident. That's kind of weird. Anyway, the child's mother never recovered from the loss, nor did she ever leave the house again. Years later, she passed away, her mind that of a little girl ever since the night of the accident. I've heard that she only walked at night, clad in a gossamer white gown, breathing the only words she ever said for the rest of her life. My baby. Have you seen my baby? Ugh. Talk about a creepy legend. It's been said on stormy nights like this, Oh, I hope it don't get any stormier. A white ghost-like form glides down the long corridors of Elm Hall. And it's even been said that some have sworn to have heard a cold, whispering, childlike voice saying, My baby, have you seen my baby? Ah, oh, that's silly. Things like that only happen in the movies. Yet, the legend also has it that those who have heard the voice have died tragically within the next year. Oh, it's funny how these stories get started and are passed down from generation to generation. Yet, the eldest son of each generation at Elm Hall has always died mysteriously before his 25th year. <laughs> Wait a minute, old boy. You'll be 25 next week. You better be careful. Oh boy, the storm looks like it's never going to let up. Whew, and the lightning. Wow, I wonder what it was like in the old days. Plenty of servants, I guess, and I bet lots of horses. Carriages and those beautiful southern bells. Ah, yes, riding off to war with Beauregard. My old Elm Hall was certainly the pride of the Old South. I bet it's a wreck today. Just my luck. I seem to remember another story about the old mansion. What was that? Oh yeah! Something about one of the daughters who was exceptionally beautiful. In fact... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh! I remember an old photograph I once saw of her, and she was beautiful, even in that old, tiny picture. Let's see, I think it was during the Civil War. Hmm, 
her name, oh yes, her name was Elizabeth. And she fell in love with a Yankee lieutenant and her father found out and he went into a wild rage and told her she couldn't see the young lieutenant again. For weeks, she just stayed in her room. Then one day, news came. A lieutenant had been killed in the war that afternoon and it was her lieutenant. She rode her favorite horse. Oh wow, what was its name? Uh, Dancer. Dancer, that's right. She rode Dancer down to the Mississippi and her horse returned home to Elm Hall riderless. As I remember the story, about a week later, some young boys fishing on a sandbar saw her float by. Her body was returned to Elm Hall and she was buried in the family cemetery on the grounds. Oh, they say that on summer evenings when it's deathly still, some people can hear a rush of wind like a rider passing by and the Spanish moss hanging from the old tree in front parts like someone has just passed. Ugh, no way that's creepy. Some also say it's Elizabeth looking for her lover. And yet, others say it's her favorite horse, Dancer, looking for her. For every day for the rest of his life, her horse would walk riderless to the Mississippi and wait patiently until nightfall for Elizabeth to return. And then he would walk back slowly in his grief to Elm Hall. Oh, wait a minute. There's something up ahead. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's the old place. That's Elm Hall. Well, just don't sit here in the car, Stephen. Go in and have a look around. Look at that window upstairs. It's open. And the curtain that's flapping wildly. Look at that. It, it... There seems to be a light on up there. No, there's no light on in there. Come on, there's nothing. Steven, you're imagining things. Oh boy, it's still creepy. Well, I hope the front door is open. Good, it's not locked. I'm glad I brought a flashlight. I hope it doesn't conk out on me. Oh, wow. What a beautiful place. It's kind of eerie, though. Hmm. This must be the living room. No, wait a minute. No, no. It's, it's the front parlor. That's what they call it. Oh, wow. Look at those drapes. Oh, <coughs> oh great. All oh, that dust. Oh, I'll never get it out of my nose. Oh, wait a minute. Look at that marble fireplace. It must be worth a fortune. What's that? It, it seems to be a portrait over the fireplace. It's, it's Elizabeth. It has to be Elizabeth. The girl who lost her lover in the Civil War. Oh, boy, is she beautiful. It's almost like going back in time. Wait a minute. There's a pipe organ over there. Oh, God, that's got to be worth a fortune. And look, another portrait. Let's see. It looks like... It looks like a Confederate general. I wonder who he was. Oh, holy cow. His eyes moved. No, they couldn't have, they, they couldn't have moved, but I could have sworn his eyes moved. His eyes look, look real. All right, <laughs> all right, stop, stop, Stephen. His eyes didn't move, even though it looked like they did. 
All right, let's go down this hallway. Oh, darn. There goes the flashlight. What a time to go out. What? What's that? The wind? No. No, it's footsteps. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't let this be happening to me. It's just my imagination. Oh, no. They're coming nearer. They're coming nearer. My heart is pounding. I gotta stop. I gotta stop my heart from pounding. Because they're gonna hear me. I can't stop. They're... They're going past me. They must have seen me. They must... They must know... They must know that I'm here. I can't see anything. It's so dark. What's that? Someone's playing the organ. But that's impossible. No one could be playing the organ. I'm the only one here. Wait a minute. There's a light on or something down at the end of the hall. Wait. Wait a minute. This is... It... It's somebody. Somebody is coming down here. It looks like a woman. I think she's wearing a white gown. She's coming this way. I... She's... She's looking right at me. But... But wait a minute. She's looking right at me, but she doesn't even see me. Have you seen my baby? Have you seen my baby? Oh no. Oh no. She just floated right through the wall. It's like a dream. That's it. That's it, Stephen. It's just a dream. Oh, my heart's about to explode. Good Lord, what was that? It just, it, it, it's right here. It just missed me. It feels like a coffin. Oh no, it can't be a coffin. Please don't let it be a coffin. Wait a minute. I think it's a grandfather's clock. Please let it be a grandfather's clock. Oh wait, bats! Bats, I can't stand bats. Get away! Get away! Oh, they're in my hair! I can't take this any longer. I'm getting out of here while I still can. Where's the front door? Where, wait, wait a minute. I think, I think, I think it's this, I think it's this way. Wait a minute. Stop. Stop. Now wait a minute. You gotta think straight. Now stop where you are. You took a left. You took a right. Oh, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh. Oh, here's the door. It's the door. It won't open. It won't open. It's gotta open. Open up door, please open. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Oh, thank heavens. Wait. What's that? What? It's... It's the horse! I'm getting out of here before I go mad. Oh no, the darn car won't start! Start! Stop. Okay, wait. It'll start. You just turn the key too hard. That's all. Easy. And oh yes, thank you. Thank you. I'll never go near that place again. I've got to unload that place. I don't care what I get for it. I've got to unload it. I'll take anything. Is this the right road? Oh, it's gotta be. I hope I'm heading towards that town. I must, I must be geared. God, I must be getting near it by now. Oh yeah. There's the gas station. <laughs> oh, good. Well, well, well. Y'all went up to the old place after all. 
Yeah. Could you tell me if there's a, a hotel where I could spend the night, a motel or a hotel? Now let's see. The Jeb Stewart Hotel is a right nice place. And that's just down the street. Yeah, I saw that place when I came into town. Look, is there any other place? No, that's the only place in town. But I tell you, it's the finest hotel we have in these parts. Because I know I own it. One other thing, is there a real estate company firm here in town? Yeah. Now you all be talking about the Dixon Company. And it's the only place in town. And I own that too. 